Hi, I'm Ryan Murdy, and in this week's tip, I'm going to tell you a few little things you should look out for in between your major outboard services. One of the most common things that people don't do is grease the steering shaft and your pivot shaft. Your steering shaft is located down in this part of your motor, and it'll have a grease nipple on there. Uh, on the E-Tech here, you can see this one under here, and on other various engines, they can be up the top, down the bottom, in different places, so you just got to find it for your particular brand of engine. And your pivot shaft is your main shaft that holds the base, of the front part of the outboard to the, the main frame, and that's up under the front here, and you'll, there's usually a couple of grease nipples under the front to look out for. So, a good waterproof grease is very important. Boating grease, uh, your local dealer will be able to help you with that. And um, in some cases you can even buy, them from, buy that sort of stuff from hardware shops or automotive places as well. Keeping your steering shaft and your pivot shaft lubricated is very important. Uh, if you use your outboard a lot, I would be doing your steering shaft and your pivot shaft at least once every month. Um, if you don't use it very often, still do it once every three months or so, two to three months. Uh, because any old water that gets in there and reacts with the grease can turn the solidify the grease and heat. If your outboard's sitting out in the sun, it'll react with the grease as well over time and break it down. And what it'll do is it basically allows water and salt up into those areas and it, it can just help wear the two bits of metal in there can just wear on each other, the alloy. And uh, they're the sort of things you don't want. It'll also get a bit stiff as well. Now, always pays to buy yourself a good grease gun for this sort of stuff. I've packed mine with my waterproof boating grease. And what I've done, simply put it on top of the grease nipple, push it on until you hear it click, and then pack it right up until the grease runs out of the bottom of the gland. And uh, as soon as you see the grease coming out the bottom of the gland, that's all you need to do. Now, once you've taken your, your grease gun off, just wipe away any excess grease and in any excess grease around the bottom of the gland just to stop it from going everywhere and um, yeah that's pretty much all you got to do. Now with your pivot shaft that runs through the back here that holds the uh, outboard frame to the main frame uh, simply once, once again grease nipple on these don't take a lot of grease whereas your steering column will, can sometimes take quite a lot of grease these usually only need a couple of short pumps there you go, you can see the grease coming out there already. That's all you need to do. And same again on the other side. You'll see the grease coming out the top of the gland. Once it comes out, that's enough. Then simply just wipe off any excess grease around the glands and your nipples. So it's all nice and clean and that no dust and dirt mixes in with your grease. It's just a place to keep a nice clean uh, Outboard. So just remember when you are doing your, your uh, pivot glands, just keep an eye out on both sides of the glands, inside and outside, for when the grease starts to come out. It's usually only a few pumps is all that's required in your pivot shaft. Something else you should look out for is any salt intrusion on your motor. Every couple of trips, every two or three trips, pull your cowling off and check around your water jacket areas where the salt water is traveling through the engine just check for any salt building up on any of the bolt heads or if any of the internals have been covered in salt. Uh, that's the sort of thing you want to get on top of straight away. So same again, take it to the outboard mechanic and get that sorted. So if you enjoyed this little tip and you'd like to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, or if you want some special tips that I only send out via email, head on over to our website www.ryanmoodyfishing.com and sign up to join our free fishing community. Keep fishing smarter and I'll see you next time.